Hi, Sue, and welcome to Oklahoma Gardening. Hello. Well, joining me today is Sue Price, and Sue is the Henthorne Center Supervisor with the Tulsa Parks and Recreation Department. And Sue is here to show us how to preserve these colorful state wildflower in some nice little buttons. And Sue, we were talking ahead of time, it's of course very important that they select the appropriate flower and of course again we're using the Gallardi or Indian blanket. Tell me about the one that you most commonly have used. Okay this is the goblin variety. It's a smaller dwarf Gallardia which works very well in buttons. If they're too big the button is it, it probably wouldn't make. Right. But um, and, and mainly that's because it, it would overgo the button then, right. right? And you would bend the flower. Now, you know, we were talking about the doubles here. You've not ever tried those yet, but do you think they might work? They might. The smaller, the smaller flower could work. It pressed right. and flat enough, it could okay. work. Okay. And of course, before it forms a double, it's a nice flat one too. Now, you mentioned pressing. How do you press the flowers to start with? Uh, the good old yellow pages. You just use the fold of the the book and uh, just fold it over and everybody's got the yellow pages and leave it in for at least a week or more and then it turns out to be okay. nice and flat. All right, well now there's obviously some cost associated with this because we've mm -hmm. got the press here and we looked in the book and they can be anywhere from 75 to $400. Depending on how elaborate. Right, mm -hmm. right. Now again, these are available at Arts and Crafts Supplies too, but why don't you just go ahead and start making one for okay. us and tell us the steps that we need to do. Okay, this is your front piece and that we start with that first. Okay. And then your design, your right. paper. Right. And then we go with the flower and then the clear mylar paper. Okay, and that's the, the protective front. coating over it then. Right, that's correct. And the ring die. And then the top die. And of course there are different numbers on there that you try to match up according to the right. uh, instructions and you have to do a little bit of twisting and turning, but now what are you doing? Okay, this is the back portion, the part that's going to be pinned into your shirt and you line that up with the, the etched lines in the crimping okay. die. And then you do the yeah. like counterclockwise and then a clockwise turn and now you're going to press it I guess. In the bench press. Now, Sue, how, how did you first get started with the button to use these in your recreation program? Well, the, a lot of the recreation centers have these with, for day camp programs right. and other variety of programs. They're used not just for this, of course, but for right. a lot of things, sure. especially when you have a new group coming mm -hmm. in, the kids, and it's, it's great to have them make right. their name button. So from there, this, that's, uh, we kind of started with the putting the flowers in. Right. And, and you were telling me too that because most people think of Oklahoma's wild, or flower as a mistletoe mm -hmm. and they're not really are, are, are that educated about the state wildflower, you decided to start with the young kids and this would be a good way to do it and preserve it. And I think it's a great idea too. Now we also talked about the fact that this may not be the right kind of set up for an individual family as far as a purchase. But again, if, if the kids are involved in group activities, I think it's really a, a good idea. Now, how long have these been made over here that you brought with you today? A year. Okay. We made those last summer in day camp for Earth Awareness Week. Okay. So they preserve for a pretty good time then. Yes, they do. What was the mm -hmm. response from the kids? Oh, they thought they were great. And as I was getting ready to come to this show, I was getting them out and the kids remembered. They go, oh, I made one of those. Oh, great. So yeah, they, they keep these buttons and okay. they enjoy making them. Well, listen, we appreciate you coming by and I know you're very busy this summer with the different programs going on in Tulsa and we appreciate you stopping by. And again, if, if you're interested in this, you might check Arts and Crafts Supply Stores. I know you ordered yours through the mail, Sue, but again, a great way to preserve some uh, of beauty in the garden for years to come. Thanks again. Well, thanks for having me.